cross and then I feel it Pride show emotion, see a spark Shalom, Israel. It's your brother, J.D. Nijah. Back with another message of edification, exhortation. For the children of Israel, the Yasharala, the 144,000 elect men who are pushing out these messages in the one-third remnant. Before I get started, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Brock Tayahawa, Brock Tayahawa Shai, Brock Tayahawa, Kalalal Hal Kalalal Ha Yahawa, Kalalal Ha Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Kalalal Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai. Salakia. That's a hard one for me. Kalalal Hal. Going into from Kalalal to Yahawa. Not easy. Kalalal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Means all blessings. And today's message, um, before I get started, all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, the Heavenly Father, our big brother, and the Rakakwadash, that's just our Savior <clears throat> and our Deliver the Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit. Man, I am tongue tied this morning. Let me <laughs> blah, 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 blah. let me get it out. Blah, blah, blah. All right, uh, this is from the book of Jeremiah. Oh, Salakia. Okie dokie. <laughs> Kalalal. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakodash. So I was listening to um, Bakara Moth today. He's been really busy putting out some really good messages, and um, you know he was hitting on the fact that you know when people start doing things out of the ordinary. And he, he had this um, analogy. You're used to coming home from work and your wife or your girlfriend or whatever is on the couch watching Oprah, sink full of dirty dishes. But one day you come home and everything's cleaned up. You can smell food cooking and you want to go to your room <laughs> to go get changed. She's all, no, no, no. You just sit down here. Let me rub your neck, and then I'll get dinner ready. Let me grab you a beer and this and that. And um, you're like, you know, you can't, you can't reconcile her behavior with um, with what you usually get. And he was saying that's that's what we're getting right now from these devils. You know, all of a sudden they love us. They love us to death. <laughs> they love us so much. That they don't want us to go to, they want to make sure that we're safe. They, they're going to make sure you don't get this deadly, deadly thing that's out there. That people are just dropping in the streets. It, and um, it, it, it doesn't fit the story, right? And for people to still say, oh, they are so hypnotized by, I put a message out yesterday. I actually did it when I was up in um, Santa Barbara, but it was about the um, witchcraft that goes on in the media, the mediums. And um, at this point, even a, I don't even know how to say it. Even a person that is completely uh, matrixized should be getting suspicious when they're... They've talked a lot, but I haven't seen a lot. 
I hear a lot of chit chat, but I don't see anything. All I see is people running around with face diapers. It's about all I've seen. For real, for real. So he went into um, the difference between trusting in the Lord, the Hawabashem, Yahawashai. And you know, I know I'm not the best at um, I don't know, be, becoming your buddy or becoming someone who's so sharp with their words or whatever that makes you want to listen to me over and over again. I don't, I'm not sure what it is because in real life, people actually want to be around me. But on this, on this serious business, I mean, yeah, I guess when I'm in the world, I'm, I'm being worldly so the world can hear me. But I'm not here to be worldly. I'm here to be a guide, a spiritual guide. And um, for me, it, there's, I've been two people pretty much my whole life. I've been this spiritual person, but on the outside, I was good at faking it. But the days of faking it are over. There's no reason to trim your ways anymore because this place is finished. If you can't see that this place is finished, I, I'm going to, I'm going to bring this around today because I know I bring out a lot of stuff that's hurtful and it's painful. And it's, it's a hard reality. It really is. It's a hard reality. But anyway, um, 17, Jeremiah. Uh, I'm just going to read through this. It's, um, it's about the difference between trusting in men and trusting in the Lord. Because if you're going to trust this man, the Lord's going to tell you right now what's going to happen to you. They're already putting people in camps in, in Australia. Yeah. They're already getting the kids used to getting on the military buses so that when they get on the military bus and drive them away from you and you don't know where they went, the kids aren't going to raise the fuss because they're going to, they're going to be used to it. They're going to be just like you people that are trusting in this, lo this devil until they get to where your mom, mommy and daddy's not there and they're going to be going, and then they're going to freak out. But by then it's too late. They're already in the, wherever they're going. You know, in Australia, they actually, um, had parents distracted. Well, I forgot how they distracted them outside the, um, school while they, um, were this, I don't know if this is true or not, but this is what I heard. And, um, they were, um, giving them the, the juice behind their parents' backs. Yeah. They are going hard in Australia. I already said that in, the, in a message before, but if you're not listening, I'll say it again. They're going hard in Australia. Okay. This is called, um, the pen of iron. And I'm going to skip the first three verses because it just talks about, yeah, Anyway, verse 4 of um, Jeremiah 17. And thou, even thyself, that's you, and you, even yourself, shall discontinue from my heritage that I gave you. And I will cause you to serve your enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For you have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. So are we in a land that we know not? That This isn't, this isn't my home. I don't know if you feel comfortable here, but... Um, I, I, every day I feel less and less like I'm a part of this crazy, um, planet of the apes deal that we have going here. And here's the, um, here's the meat of, of it. 
verse 5 of Jeremiah 17, and it reads, And thus says the Lord, Yahweh power, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. Cursed be the man who trusts in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departs from the Lord. Cursed be that man. When it says flesh makes flesh his arm, the arm of the Lord is a spiritual arm, not a fleshly arm. It's it's spiritual, not carnal. Verse 6, for, for he shall be like the heath in the desert and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness in a salt land and not inhabited. So when it, when it talks about that, it's talking about you're going to be an utter darkness and desolation. There's not, there's nothing going to be left for you. Just like this place, if you, if you can't feel it already, there's nothing left here. What do you want out of this place? To be able to go to work, get on a plane, go to Costa Rica, go surfing, go to Bora Bora. That would be great. But you know what? You can't. <laughs> I, you can't unless you do what they say. And what kind of life is a life where you have to do what they say? Blessed is he, though, that trusts in the Lord. Verse 7. This is me. Me. I trust. I'm, I'm not even this much unconvinced that this place is through. Not even a little bit. It's it's through. It's done. It's finished. I'm already trying to get on the other side, but he has me doing this till I don't do this. I might have to put my be the first one to put my head in the guillotine, so that everyone that has any hope of saving themselves will also get their head in that fucking guillotine and do it. Chop chop. takes a second if it's sharp the hard part is um walking up to it once you get your head in there and you hear that that rope getting pulled back you know it's in just a couple seconds and you'll be in the spirit world where everything's going to be better if you don't believe in the spirit world then just <laughs> become a robot and live in hell and hell's not a place it's a condition we I am in hell right now. This place is hell. Blessed is he that trusts in Yahweh power. Verse 7 of the same chapter. This is following right after the one who's cursed for not trusting in the Lord. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord Yahweh power and whose hope is in Yahweh Shai. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters. This is the good news. This is the good news. I'm not a good news guy, but here you go. If you do, if you follow the Lord, this is how it goes. Verse 8 of Jeremiah 17, the prophet. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when the heat cometh. But her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord Yahweh Power, search the heart, and I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings. As the partridge, partridge, as the partridge sitteth on eggs and hatcheth them not, so he that getteth riches, and not by right, shall leave them in the midst of his days, and at his end shall be a fool. A glorious high throne from the, from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. As an Israelite, you got to realize how far we've fallen. It 
it's easy for me at this point because it's in my spirit already. And trying to come up with words to break through the rock-headed brains that people have. How's the Lord put it? The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? He knows it. This place is wicked. Wicked. That means purposely harmful. That means purposely ornery. That means purposely mean, wicked. Purposely, just like the, the FBI agents that wouldn't help. If you listened to my message yesterday, they didn't help the poor girls that were getting abused by this monster. Oh, it wasn't that bad. It, you, you can get over it, they're telling them. No, I'm not getting over it. People are so used to being sick. People are so used to being sick that they'll believe they're sick when they're not even sick. Now, everybody's sick. Yeah, we are. Everybody's sick. I'm going to go back to um, transgress. That was pretty good yesterday. I hope you caught it. I forgot what it was called, but transgress, the Hebrew word is ma'al, M-A apostrophe A-L. Princip princip principally, 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 the word means to break a trust. So if you go back to Jeremiah, the man who trusts in man and the flesh of the arm is breaking the bond between you and your true power. Man can't do shit for you. He might be able to cut a abscess out of your back like he did for me and put you on some kind of antibiotics that will kill everything in your body so that you can live. They can do that. They can put a catheter up your up your penis so you can pee when when something's wrong like they did with me. They can give you um, antibiotics to get you over a, a some kind of a viral infection. <sighs> They can do a lot of things that seem good and right, but that's of man. Dying isn't the worst thing in the world. And sometimes, I, I mean, transgress. <laughs> Sorry to transgress. <laughs> I was um, breaking trust there for a minute, talking about myself again. But the point is, you can't trust these devils. I don't know how I I don't know how to get these messages out. I, I I'm just I'm just a man of the Lord doing the best I can not to get totally bugged out on what's going on here and live with a bunch of even more bugged out, untrusting, transgressing people. Transgress, ma'al in the Hebrew. This word means to break trust, often willingly, but sometimes unintentionally. Transgression is almost always against the Lord and may be committed by individuals or communities. At this point, the whole community is breaking a trust with you. They are, they are transgressing against you. And... Some people will be more upset about that than others. I'm upset about that. I don't like I don't like liars. I don't like truth tr truth breakers. I don't like people who break a trust.
Okay, I was gonna go and just trust a little bit. I'll just go to um. Trust, trust, trust. Trust. Um, the one I like is in um, Truth or Trust, Truth maybe. It's in um, Truth, Hebrew Emet. Emet. This term signifies truth that conforms to a standard either to created reality or God's standards. Truth is often associated with mercy, especially God's mercy. Truth is precious. Precious. And its absence was lamented by the prophets. Truth is precious and its absence was lamented by the prophets. Yahweh desires truth in the inward parts of his people. It is the basis of a lifestyle that pleases him. Truth, emet, this term signifies truth that conforms to a standard, either to created reality or God's standards. Truth is often associated with mercy, especially Yahweh powers mercy. Truth is precious, and its absence was lamented by the prophets. <laughs> Yahweh power desires truth in the inward parts of his people. It is the basis of a lifestyle that pleases him. So the one I like is in Zechariah, I think. Zechariah or Zephaniah. Zechariah, let's go. Zechariah. 8.16. So I'll get one minute. So. If you're not riding on the truth at this point, and you think it's all right to, to let people lie to you, and tell you things that aren't true and get you to believe things. How many times have they changed their mind? Wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. Um, one jab, two jab, three jab, four. I don't know if we're gonna have to take some more. I mean, really? Sounds like someone doesn't have their shit together. Anyhow, I'm going to finish off here because um, I think I've made my point. I don't I don't mean to be um, the way I am. It's just the way I am. I wish I could be one of the, you know, like, like some of the apostles. They're so calm and they're so, and they're so patient and so... easy with their words and a truthful nation Zechariah 8 16 <clears throat> I've done a message on this before a truthful nation Before I go into it, 
you know, you know what happens when you tell the truth in this world? You ever try it? Think about it. What happens when you tell the truth? People twist it. People will use it against you. People will make you look like the liar. All try it. Try 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 telling the truth and see how far you get in this world. You better be ready to get fucked. This place is full of lies, full of deceit, full of backbiting, wicked bullshit. Sorry, I'm back on the... F <laughs> I'm back on the grouch. <laughs> Angry Israelite here. One of my buddies said, you should just call yourself the angry Israelite. I am pretty angry. It's hard to listen to someone who's angry, I know. <clears throat> so I... <clears throat> Salakia, brothers. And someone who's coughing up shit all the time. <laughs> but brothers, <clears throat> if there's one thing... <clears throat> oh, Salakia... If there's one thing that you're going to hear me talk about time and time and time again, it will be truth. I'm just going to read from um, a blessing and not a curse because I just came from Jeremiah where it said, if you trust in man, you'll be cursed. And if you trust in the Lord, you'll be blessed. I, I just happened to look down and I saw this. A blessing and not a curse. Verse 13 of Zechariah chapter 8. And it shall come to pass that as you were a curse among the heathen, O house of Judah and house of Israel, that's the two tribes, the southern and the northern kingdom, the two kingdoms of the tribes, so will I save you. And it shall come to pass that as you were a curse among the heathen. I am a curse to these. Because I'm going to get up in those chariots and watch them destroy this place. I wanted to bring that up too. Thank you, um, Kara. Or Kara. Kara. Because you care too much. Kara. Um, for the Merkaba, the Merkaba is the chariots in Hebrew. I was thinking Aqaba. Aqaba is a um, river valley in the southern Judah where um, a lot of, uh, I'm not going to say witchcraft, but sorcery and, and weird uh, powers, but the powers... We're all actually on uh, some of the powers are on the right hand in Aqaba. You can look that up. But the Merkaba, that's the chariots. Thank you, Kara, sweetheart. You and your husband are great. First, first Israelite that I've met in Huntington Beach. <laughs> Serious. Okay, back to the <laughs> back to the Merkaba. That's when it says. If you're a curse among the heathen, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so will I save you. And you shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. These hands are strong because they were given strength by the hand of the Almighty, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai. That's right. <laughs> People are tripping on me. Israel's rising, man. Um, for this, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, power of hosts, of armies. As I thought to punish you when your fathers provoked me to wrath, said the Lord of hosts, and I repented not. So again have I thought in these days to do well unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Fear ye not. Have no fear. What is there to be afraid of? 
a blessing and not a curse. If we stand up against these heathen, see, we're trying to make our election sure. And the way to do that is to act that way. Be that way. Let 